Dear brothers and sisters, do you wonder why Levi, who become Matthew and one of the apostles, and so also uh, according the the belief that he, the writer of Matthew Gospel, left everything got up and followed Jesus. Why? The answers, at least two, is put God's grace and the free will. Grace is first. And foremost, the gift of the Spirit who justifies and sanctifies us. God's free initiative demands man's free response. That's why we differ with a robot, because we have free will. For God has created man in his image by conferring on him along with freedom, the power to know him and to love him. This is the free will. And we have to understand that we are not one safe, always safe. No. Life's ups and downs require continuous ascent to God's grace to remain and grow in faith. That's why the life is like a journey, not just sitting in one place, but a journey of faith. We have to walk, we have to grow. And St. Paul gives us really good explanation when he said, I have the strength for everything through him who empowers me. So God's grace that empowers him empowers us every day to do everything. Then we have to understand also about the spiritual sickness. Because we are not one safe, always safe. And we cannot on our own be sinless. So Jesus came to rescue us as a savior, to ransom us as the Lamb of God, to restore us as the divine doctors, and to redeem us through adoption. This is just like what St. John in John Gospel tell us. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. Dear brothers and sisters, through the sacrament of the church, Jesus is calling us. Jesus is healing us and walking with us toward eternal salvation together with him. Hope becomes fulfillment through our daily ascent to his call. He called us, follow me. And through our free will, we decide to follow or not. So let us silence for a moment, asking ourselves how we respond to his calling when he said, follow me.
Lord, I sometimes judge the action of others, condemning them. I fall into temptation through my weaknesses. I cannot follow you on my own, and that is why you came. Thank you, Jesus. Even when I sin and judge, you are with me, ready to forgive and heal me. I want to do your will. Thank you, Jesus, for granting all the grace I need to follow you into your kingdom. Amen.